Wow. Why don't we get into mortgage rates yeah. and show people... Um, I'm going to commit the sin and move. Yeah, 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 yeah. I probably, so, if I get so quieter, Get in here, get in here. Yeah, but in but here. the thing is, before I show this again, I, I just show the audience, I'm going to come back to in a second. This, what we're about to show the audience is no emotion. This is the market. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you cannot, data. you can't like debate this. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. This isn't like yeah. a graph we made, right? So let's get yeah. into this. So Steve, why don't you kind of walk the audience through what's happening on this graph and sure. what's happening with rates in real time? Right, so, so as if... I mean, I'm sure people watching this, maybe you recognize it, maybe you don't. So this is MBS Highway. This is our guy, Barry Habib's website. Again, this is just his data tracking of mortgage-backed security prices. So I'm not going to get into like what the prices mean sure. here other than like rates around here were like high fives. Which rates. Give us time frame. Give us time frame. On All right. That. So that's August, right? Yeah. So that's the end of the summer. Okay. Um, high fives, low, mid six, somewhere in there, right? Okay. And then... We got down here. This was when rates for the first time really hit like that 7% number, right? Yep. And then you'll see we had we had some bad days in here. We went down this far. This was on um, – this is when I had man flu. Oh, that's right. So I Is that what got was, you sick? Was that day in, the, in pricing? No, it was it was food poisoning, I'm pretty sure, because I don't get sick. But um, I forget. I can't remember exactly. How. We ended up with – just a, it was – oh, it was the um, CPI report. So this was mm. our last CPI report, which came that in. That hurt us. Yeah, it came in bad, right? And so you can see this the rates dropped like a I mean, dropped like a rock, right? Yeah. And then you'll see as the market starts to digest the data, like, okay, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. And then again, we just got into this run where like all the inflation data was just kept piling up against us saying, like, hey, this is like things are going badly, right? Yeah. And then you come to October twenty first, and this is when the first inkling came out. Uh, I think it was a senator in Ohio said, Hey Jay, Powell, like we got to change something like you're raising these rates that. at such a fast pace. Like if you started to think about a pivot and this is how the market responded, right? So we look at trend lines. And so we really we're on a, on a pretty nice run. We started to see rates come back down here. I mean, we were in like the mid six range right around here, which was, sure. we had some, like we locked a good amount of loans in there. And then you come back to Jerome Powell, I think. So is this Wednesday? Right there on the second. That's the day of the meeting right there. So this was, so this right here is preparing for the meeting. Yeah. And then you have the meeting, right? And that's when Jerome Powell. That's when the urination started. Everybody got their, their Cheerios pissed in. <laughs> and then this was the next day. Again, it's just the market recovery. That was yesterday. Digesting information. It actually recovered pretty nicely. And you can see today, uh, green is good. So we're up uh, 27 basis points in the mortgage-backed security markets, which in pricing, that would be like a quarter point, right? So that's 250 bucks better on every $100,000 loan. So one one thing on here, and, and I know you're going to something else and I'll be quick. So we watch this line a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a 25 day moving average. You can see we we really got close to being able to bite above it, but rates, as soon as they get super far from it, they drag back up to that because that's just a trading line that de determines what prices these things sell at. And if you compare that to the same thing, so this is your 10 year treasury, yep. it does the same thing. Look, here's their 25 day moving average and it just refuses to go below it. Mm. Every time it gets far away, it's it comes back to it, right? So it tends to follow this line, right? but it would not break through this thing, which is, which is kind of an interesting, which is kind of an interesting number. Yeah. So, I mean, the question, wake up, wake up, come back. Yeah, no, no. The question is, that was great. Thank you for that. Um, we'll probably show that more often as. Yeah. Because there's still so many people that think rates, mortgage rates, will continue to go up yeah. um, as a result of these Fed increases, which they probably will. Yeah, short term. This yeah. I want to talk about this, and then you know your boy PBD uh, on his podcast is right. talking about you know uh, mortgage rates again, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but. They probably will go up mortgage right. rates because of what's happening, because things, uh, I like how you put this, they're going to be rocky for probably yeah. another 60, 90 days maybe yeah. um, until what we talked about before, until we have data, right. factual data that inflation is in fact coming down. Right. So kind of walk us through what do you think that time frame looks like and how long things will be rocky for and what your prediction on mortgage rates will be over the next 60 to 90 days. Yeah. So it, it's really going to depend on, you know, we're going to get a report next week. That's a big one. So if that comes in, you know, like well, that we talk about 10%, yeah. 9%, 10% rates. Like if the, if that consumer price index report next week comes in high, okay, like way above expectations, yeah. 
then we'll have, like that's when we're really going to see a spike in rates. But what you have to understand is that what the Fed is doing, I mean, they've never raised rates three quarters of a percent four times in a row. Sure. Right. The spread between a mortgage backed security and a 10 year treasury is the highest it's ever been. Is that market knows that these mortgage rates are not going to last. They know that mm. that these are all going to get refinanced. Like there's like the value of a mortgage backed security right now is very low. That's why they keep raising these rates. That market is driven by inflation and the Fed is throwing the entire kitchen sink at inflation right now. Yeah. Right. And so at some point we will see it break. There's just absolutely like they're telling us, it is going to break. Yeah. Is there a wide channel for interest rates to go up and down right now and stay around the summer? Yeah, absolutely. Could we see, you know, the average rates be seven and a half percent possibly? But the thing is, the average interest rate today is like seven. According to Freddie Mac, it's like seven point one percent. It's not eight percent. It's not nine percent. Yeah. And you have to think the Fed has gone from zero percent to four percent. They've raised interest rates up the Fed funds rate to four percent. In one year. Rate, in one year, interest rates have gone from three percent to seven percent like the largest increases we've ever had for them to continue at that trajectory. It just, it would be, a, it would be an anomaly yeah. right? for it to continue that way. So I guess my question is the fed's going to meet again in, in uh, December. Yes. Then yeah. they don't meet again until February. Right. I guess my question for you specifically, and, and I just want your honest assessment on this, not a political yeah. uh, positioning answer between call it right now, November, 2022, in February 2023, that gap of time, yeah. maybe interest rates continue to go up, or do you think that potentially they could come back down? Because I am of the belief that later in 2023, when we have absolute concrete evidence that rates do fall back into the into the fives. Yeah. But but the question is between right now, because that's the 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 argument that a lot of people make, between yeah. right now and February, what do you think is going to happen with mortgage rates? So it's a good question. I mean, it. I do. I personally believe that we are going to start seeing inflation easing, and that will bring interest rates down. I think that the next couple of weeks, and maybe even the next, maybe even until that December fifth meeting, it's going to be the markets are not are going to be driven by emotion, right? It's sure, going to be traders. absolutely. There's not going to be a Fed saying we're doing this or we're doing that. There's not going to be that concrete action. Yeah. So it's going to be market driven. If the markets see these inflation numbers coming down, interest rates, we will start to see them ease. Now, it's important to know, like you and I predicted, maybe rates are below 5%. We showed Barry says rates are below 5%. As soon as we see inflation ease a half a percent year over year, does not mean interest rates are going to fall through the floor. Right. Interest rates may have a really good day. They may have two or three days that are really good. And then there could be another report that spooks them and they go back up. It's going to be that bumpy road right now. But I do think that, I think that inflation has peaked. And I do think that we're going to start to see more of what the Fed is doing impacting the markets. And I think we are going to start to see interest rates easing. So they go up a little bit, maybe, but it's not going to be these giant swings. I think we've done that. I think that part of I think that part of the pain is done. OK, now it's going to be a little bit rocky and hopefully going toward the easing. So if you write a 30 year fixed mortgage today, not to get into the weeds and, yeah. and all your disclaimers and all your stuff. Yeah. Uh, the average, to your point, is about seven, seven and a quarter. Is that fair? Yeah. I mean, you were sitting here. I wrote, we just, I just did an Oh, yeah. You just priced at, that alone. At 6.8%. Okay. So that was somebody with a 660 credit score, yeah. three and a half down on an FHA loan with 6.8%. I did conventional loan yesterday on like a first time buyer program, mm -hmm. and we did their loan at like 6.875. Okay. Now, fast forward 30 days. The question is at the end of the year, when you're at my house for our New Year's party, you price out a loan in my office at my house. What is the interest rate? What do you think it's going to be? That's oh, what I'm know. asking. Oh, that. Gee, why didn't you just ask hey, me that? Hey, I'm trying. To I get thought you, you wanted you've to been talk more. You've been all, all right. political. All right. You've I'm been like political. You're like Uncle uh, Powell, just kind of dancing right. around. Thing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm watching Boardwalk Empire, so I'm all about. It's not even right that now. good. Shaking hands. That you're lying. I'll try again, but I tried yeah, it. I don't know what you want. I know, I not know. Every, I'm hard not to please. Top Gun. Yeah, true. So, but, um, so what I'm asking no, is, so it, I, uh, listen, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pump your tires for a second, yeah. but I mean it. You're, you're you're one of the best, if not the best, mortgage guy in the country. Thank you. That's My nice. question is, what does your gut tell you that if you're pricing out a loan, you know, at a Christmas party, you feel like rates are going to be higher mm. than or lower than what they are right now? Lower. Okay. Great. Well, let's listen to your uh, boy PBD and let's get into what they're talking about with rates. You know, you know what confuses me is the following. Those who are delusional because they're in the industry and they're saying that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. There's a very big difference between power of positive thinking 
and not understanding that the only the paranoid survive. It, it, I believe you should read both books simultaneously. Read the book Power of Positive Thinking because it's good to have a positive attitude, but do not be delusional because you're in real estate and mortgages thinking, no, it's not going to happen. Year ago, rates were roughly 2.9%. In May, when Dave Ramsey called it fear porn, rates were at 5%. And today, rates are 7.5% for 30-year interest, interest. And everyone's saying, it's not going to go to 75 Never. What are you talking about? Do you realize from 1981 or 82, I don't know what the year was, for about nine years straight, interest rates in America were above 10%. Yep. Can you pull that up, please? Do you realize for 10, this is the part where people are absolutely delusional. Go to the rates I sent you. No, it was one that just showed the charts. There you go. That's the one. Yeah, this is okay. Paul Volcker's so, Endless so, Halloween. So check this out. Zoom in. Zoom in so everybody can see it. Let's first look at the first chart to the right, which what we've been used to for the last 20 years. Yeah, go to the right. No, no, don't worry about the stuff on the left. Okay, so what is it right now? Go a little lower. Go a little lower. Lower. Okay, 2021, 2.96. 2010, 3, 3, 9, 4, 5, 3, 9, 3, 6, 3, 8, 4, 1, 3, 9, 3, 6. Oh, rates are cool. This mm -hmm. is what we're used to. This is BS. This is a lie. 4, 4, 4, 6, 5. This is a lie. Then it's real. 6, 6, 6. Keep going. 6.3, 6.4. Go to 20, uh, 2005. To, okay, 5.8, 5, 5.8, 8, 5, 8, 5, 8. These are numbers that we need to stay around. 6.5, 6, 6.9, 6, 8. Now watch. This is 2,000. We're at 8. 7.4, 6.9, 7.6, 7.8, 7.9. 8.3, 7.3. Seven, For a straight decade, it's around 7 plus, right? Mm -hmm. Now you got 1990. Just 32 years ago, it's at 10.13. It'll never crack 10%. It won't happen. Okay, go to 1989. Let's look at 89. Now watch what happens. So that's two years, three years, four years, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, keep going, eleven, twelve, twelve straight years. Thirty year fixed rates were above ten percent. Crazy. Let me say this one more time. For twelve straight years, thirty year mortgage rates were above ten percent, and people are saying it's not gonna go to ten percent. All right. So hold on. I know you yeah. wanna you're chomping at yeah, the bit, yeah. you gotta be. So um the thing that he he doesn't talk about. I mean, he's so passionate about this whole thing right now. Um, but the thing he doesn't talk about is where inflation was at right. during those period of time. Go ahead. Right. Uh, what do you think about that? So, it, I mean, that again, it's inflation was at like 18% or something. I mean, it was like, and we were coming off of an oil crisis. I mean, it was, it was an entirely different time in the world yeah. than what we're in right now. We didn't have any of the tools, any of the experience that we've had. And quite frankly, not as much of our economy was driven by housing. Right. You know, for right. as as when recessions happen in our country, what is the first thing that they do to pull these to pull our country out of recessions is housing. Yeah. The housing employs. I mean, building homes, products for homes, the sale of homes and, and you know, saying like you're delusional because you're in the mortgage business or you're in the yeah. real estate business. You're biased. Like, I get it. I, and, yeah. And, and, and maybe I am. But I'm, I'm also I have 20 years of experience That's in right. that business and studying and learning those markets and learning these things. And. 32 years ago was it was just such a different time yeah to be to compare it to is is just is wild say it don't you hold know? back you know I mean, so it like just, it doesn't like i mean to compare ac the economy from i mean that the call in the early 80s in that area we were talking about that was was caused by what was happening in the 70s so you know which yeah go ahead so i mean I, go ahead i want to i want to pull up inflation in um let's just look at an inflation and I won't be able to show this on screen, but we can talk th talk through it. Because mortgage rates follow inflation. I mean, this is the thing that people. Again, I don't know if 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 Patrick's people just aren't telling him this or or not. But in, mortgage interest rates follow inflation. They always have, uh, and they most likely will always do the same thing. So, what I want to show people is, uh, let's see, inflation rate chart. All right. So let's go back to this. Historic. This is back to 1914, right? So check this out. I could have pulled it up on the yeah. computer probably. Actually, let's do that because we're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. I'm going to pull this up on my computer. So let's look at this because this is the thing I think people are missing. You agree with that? Yeah. I mean, inflation was 14% in 1980. Okay. So inflation rate chart. Let's check that out historic all right so i'm gonna pull this up here's the good one all right so this goes back to what oh that's not the yeah. one i want let's go back we can go back to um here let's go to 
This is like the best way to do it, by the way. Images? Yeah, because then you can find what you need. I appreciate that. Yep. Um, let's see. It's hard because inflation is such a hot topic now that there's no good data. Good data no good data for it. Oh, we'll find there it. There we go. What's that first one? Historical inflation rate by year. 1920. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's pull this up. All right. So this is the thing that, so he, he talks a lot about, let's go to the 19, um, 1980s. 1980s. Okay. So right, right in this wheelhouse is when mortgage rates were, were, I don't know. What did he say? They were, um, 12, 13% or whatever they were. Like he was talking about 12 years of rates being 10%. Yeah. Now here's the thing. No, no one's debating that. What I'm right. debating in, in the lack of information being shared is, okay, well, what was inflation? Right. What was Double. inflation for that whole entire time? Oh, let's look at that. Let's go. Let's do the same thing he did. So let's just go back. So you got 8.9, 12 and a half, 13.2, right? You have all, you have inflation that is absolutely uh, much higher than it is now. And right. again, the argument is the only way rates go up the way that they were in the 80s is if inflation continues to go up. Right. You and I both and many others believe that inflation is on its way down. Right. So let me just share this one more time. As inflation goes down, what did mortgage interest rates do? Oh, that's right. They went down. So you can see as inflation went back up right here in 2022, mortgage rates follow inflation. Right. So that's the thing that's, I think, taken out of context when he shows, listen, historically, interest rates have been blah, 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 over 10% for 10 years. Yeah, so was inflation. Right. And, and part of that, going back to what he was showing is is in, in the Federal Reserve statement is they want to act swiftly. Yeah. And they want to stay on track right now before inflation is entrenched into our That's economy right. where you can't bring it down. So they're, they're already on a path to where we're seeing inflation. It's slow, but year over year it's coming down like while some of the numbers are higher than they were last year at this time overall inflation is coming down that's right and they're really we're at the very beginning of seeing the impact of what the fed's actually doing yeah you know so there's i i get i get where he's coming like i get his logic like his logic makes sense and and, and i get that and, and i've said it before you can be an optimist you can be a pessimist but the data doesn't suggest that there's gonna be sustained rates of 10 percent for 10 years good could we get really bad data in three weeks and like all this bad news and have rates touch nine or 10 percent for a day? Yeah, for sure. But to say it's going to be sustained for 10 years, and, and I don't think that's even going to happen, by the way, the nine or 10 sure. percent. But to say to say that interest rates are going to be sustained at 10 percent, it is paranoia. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So let's uh, we'll do another video when we get some more data that comes out here soon. And uh, we'll just keep our, our finger on the pulse and keep reporting the facts. That's right.